Okay, YouTube, Ranger TS here. Got another product in for the Hyper Blue STI, and I'm so stoked to share it with you all. Uh, once again, shout out to Andrew Orlando and Justin Frank at Belt Not Bot Automotive uh, for the parts recommendations and advice, along with uh, Mike Adkins at M Tuned uh, for the tunes for the uh, for the Subi. But uh, without further ado, let's see what we got. Uh, as you can see here by the logo, it's a force performance product and uh, I'm going to open this thing. I'm going to have to flip it around because it looks like it's a solid piece of foam. Let's flip it upside down and give it a jiggle. All right. Throw that box over there. All right, let's see what's on this here it sounds like some hardware it's kind of hard to do this with one hand so if you move close i apologize but let me use my other hand here to open this right quick all right yeah so looks like it's hardware for the uh the turb ski Looks like it's some aluminum flanges here. Probably for the inlet inlet tube, potentially. All right, let's see what this is. It says Force Performance Subaru Oil Supply Line. All right, got some fittings and stuff in there, some copper, and then uh, banjo fittings, yeah, okay, cool. So that's nice hardware, and then here's some PCV stuff. Looks like it might be good. I already have kind of the AOS here, so hopefully not too much of this going on. There's already a lot going on with the Subi already, but all right. Here's a turbo manifold gasket and then a downpipe gasket suite. All right, so there you go. That's included. Uh, good piece to have is obviously the FP turbo inlet. All right, so this will attach to the housing on the on the turb ski on the turbo. And then it'll open up to this uh, housing here to attach to your intake. Right now I'm running the Cobb uh, Turbo Inlet uh, to the ETS speed density intake, but I'll be swapping that out for the FP setup here. All right, then, uh, let's get to the uh, kind of main piece here. Let's give it an open. Wow, all right, headphone users. Sorry, hopefully it wasn't too loud. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the turb ski. All right. All right. There you go. Little FP Red Subaru. Very cool. Nice little vacuum fitting there. Check that out. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it closed for now until uh. I'm ready kind of for the install. Hopefully uh, I can get you guys a video of it when we start tearing it apart. But there you go. Nice housing. There's a little coolant line fittings, oil fittings. All right, let's take a look at the wastegate bracket. Oh, they weren't playing around with this cushioning, I'll tell you what. Get that out of the way. All right, and then you can see here, it's got the uh, welded internal wastegate. All right, very cool. There's a flange, IWG actuators welded, so don't have to worry about that. I think my current setup now has the uh, the Grim Speed uh, internal wastegate uh, kind of bracket there to keep it from opening. Uh, and then I'm um, still on an OEM turbo, but the FP Red will fit here at the stock location. Uh, so it shouldn't be too too difficult to swap in. And then I do have the uh, TGV delete, so it should fit a little better. Uh, yeah, all right. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it, the FP Red. Uh, comes with everything you need to get it installed. And I guess these are to the... Uh, 
turbo inlet now that I see them. But yeah, that's the FP Red. Can't wait to install it. Just another look at it. Very cool. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, video to come soon on the, uh, the install. Hopefully I can get uh, into the garage with my buddy while he installs it. I'll try to help him out. To, uh, I'm more of a bolt-on guy uh, mechanically, and the TGVs is probably about as complex as I want to get, as long as like fuel rails too. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'll try my best to respond. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.